to say about this guy? Because, I don't know, you've never fucked up really many times. So I started working at Churchill's World Cup 2002. It was a Sunday night. I did Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Dave Daniels got back, he goes, yeah, no problem, you can work here. And then Thursday night, Dave's in the house. This guy comes in and starts playing noise. <laughs> and I call Dave Daniels in the house. What the fuck is going on here? <laughs> and Dave says to me, what's wrong with you? I'm like, do you want customers to be in here or not in here? And Dave goes, oh, sorry, it's Thursday night, it's Rat's night. I'm like, who the fuck is Rat? <laughs> well, Rat helps with the sound and the lights, and he gets Thursday nights for himself. So whatever Rat wants to do, Rat can do. So I'm like, okay, so you're gonna pay me my rent this month? Because this motherfucker, I could not get any customers in here. Now, don't get me wrong, there was 20 people there at that time. And as time went over at Churchill's, here we are today, nobody would have ever thought that noise would get so big. And he has brought it to a whole nother level. 14 years ago, I would have been like, get me the fuck out of here right now. So the next story I can tell is, I'm at Churchill's one night, working the bar, guys sitting at the bar, a couple of people around, and somebody says, hey, Nicky, where's Rap? Oh, he's in Australia playing a gig. And this kid sitting in front of me just fucking snaps. Smashes down his beer. He's like, fuck, and then, and fuck, and this, and fuck. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you? He goes, have you ever heard the music he plays? I'm like, yeah. Well, how the fuck is it? He gets flown all over the world. They fly him to Australia. They fly him to China, Japan. And I've been playing music since I was 40. You know what? I'm just giving up music now because this is fucking bullshit. So I'm looking at a kid, I'm like, what the fuck is your problem? He's like, I've been playing music all my life and I'm trying to make it and this guy's fucking goes all over the world. And he goes on and on. So I said, do you know what he does for a living? No. He works for Delta Airlines. <laughs> and the kid, he just has a big smile on his face. And he's like, so that's how he travels the world. I'm like, you didn't know that? He's like, no, so are you gonna keep in music? He's like, fuck yeah, now I am. <laughs> so, <laughs> he like, they pay him to fly to Australia to play a gig? Are you fucking shitting me? <laughs> but as I said at the start, 14 years ago, I never thought that 25, 50 people, mad, crazy people at Churchill's, if Jeff was here now, he'd be fucked. Autumn, you're here. I can see other people here that were there back then. But Rat, if it wasn't for you, Churchill's would have never survived the years it ever survived. Yeah. Yeah. He never, not that he never got paid. He put his heart and soul into Churchill's. Yes, everybody says, oh yeah, yeah, I did the bar. But he would come in there, he'd be putting up lights, putting up speakers, whatever, just for the passion of music. Yeah. And I always said he did it for all the bands, whatever. Fuck, he did it for the bands. He did it for himself. <laughs> Just so he could crank out the fucking noise. And as I'm telling you, this, and as I'm telling you this now, and I'm going to finish, there was a hardcore show at Churchill's. I don't remember the band. There was 500 people there. I'm going back when Churchill's used to be packed. 500 people come to a hardcore show. And Rat comes in and he goes, watch what I'm gonna do at the end of this show. <laughs> I'm like, what are you talking about? He goes, these hardcore motherfuckers, they think they're hardcore, watch this. <laughs> he sneaks two PVs down the side wall where the big screen used to be. The show just finishes and the next minute Rat hits it. The whole fucking bar ran, the whole club ran outside <laughs> and I had to call people back in, come and pay your tab. I'm not paying my fucking tab up and he stops playing. <laughs> But anyway, Rat, I, do, I, I don't have a bad word to say about you. I just can't understand. This is why I'm dressed like this. The only reason I put this on, because I'm hoping that some 22-year-old girl is going to hit on me tonight. <laughs> because I, of all the years I've known this motherfucker, I'm like, how the fuck did you hook up with that girl? Are you a father figure? <laughs> 
is it your music? Because I know it's not your fucking music. But when I went to his apartment and I saw all the shit there, I'm like, damn, I'd let him fuck me if I was fucking here. And so I'm not going to give Rob Elber any of these guys shit or anything like that because I'm just not going to do it. But anyway, if it wasn't for him, the music scene in Miami would have been dead fucking 15 years ago. I love you. He's open-minded, he gives everybody a chance. Yeah. So give it up for Rap Pastor. Yeah. And before I go, any young girls want to hook up with Rat? He's very busy tonight, but I'll take you. Good night. Yeah.